and welcome farm to family members. This is Brooke from Just Roots Farm here with our weekly unboxing video. We are in week 20, can you believe it? And week 20 comes with a bounty of produce. We have red potatoes, curly kale, onions, winter squash that's already cut and peeled, broccolini, carrots, lemongrass if you have a full share, as well as Brussels sprouts and radish. These videos are going to show a quick couple recipes or ideas for things you can do with the ingredients in your share, and please check out the description. All the links for the recipes will be in there, along with some other ideas and resources. Thanks so much. If you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. We'll start by making a caramelized onion. If you have too many onions and you're bored of them raw, you can try this recipe. Chop as many as you desire, red, white, or golden, and you can, I did about six of them, but do as many as you'd like. This is a good thickness that I've used. I use butter and oil, but you could use one or the other, and I did one teaspoon per onion. You're gonna cook those onions on medium to medium low heat for about an hour or up to an hour. I only did 30 minutes. Add a pinch of salt 10 minutes in. That's gonna release moisture and help keep the onions from sticking. If they do start to stick, you could add a little water. Key here is stir frequently. I stir it every like three to five minutes in the beginning and then a little less in the end. Yum. We're gonna use those caramelized onions in the next dish of frittata, and we'll also use our kale and potato. Start off by removing your stems from the kale and give it a quick, rough chop, like that. Then we are going to prep water to boil the potatoes. This is gonna be a soft boil, and you'll want them in small bite-sized pieces ready to go inside of your frittata. And I would suggest cooking for four four minutes four to five minutes i also prep some bacon for mine but you can really put whatever you want in these dishes because it's such a versatile uh, medium the frittata i used six eggs but you can use anywhere from four to six or even more if you want a bigger size i whisked in salt and pepper for a minute or two to make it fluffy and added my caramelized onion then I added some of my potatoes after I let them cool a bit because you don't want the egg to cook. You can add bacon or sub with sausage or whatever protein you like. Add kale and stir. You're gonna pour it into a greased oven safe pan. I love using cast iron if you have it. Then you're gonna press all those ingredients under the line of the eggs. Cook on the stove top on low to medium low heat for 15 minutes and then stick it in the oven on broil at 500 for about five minutes until golden and crispy. Our last recipe is the Indian spiced carrot rice. So I did a bit of a different variation from one that's on the link here, but I started with carrots, mine were yellow. I cut the ends off and I used a food processor, but you could also shred them. I also used jalapenos. You could use chilies or something to add a little spice. I just did two small jalapenos and also put them in the food processor or you could dice them up really small. You can remove the seeds and then you'll have a less spicy pepper. And I got my rice cooking. So I did one cup of rice, two cups of water for 20 minutes on the stove. And while that was cooking, I cut up some red onion, but white would work too. And that's gonna go into the rice. You can use any kind of seed or nut. Sunflower seeds and pepitas are more affordable than most nuts, so I used those and I chopped them up pretty well. And that's going into the rice mixture as well. I'm going to toast them on a pan with a couple tablespoons of olive oil or butter or both. Maybe just like two. So there they are. The key flavorings that I used for this were curry powder, an eighth teaspoon or so of cardamom powder, some ginger, you can use fresh or dried, and lots of garlic, about two big cloves or three cloves. And I'm gonna keep constantly stirring that so nothing burns. 
Then I will add my carrot mixture and again we're just going to keep stirring and the carrot's going to absorb all of those spices. I'm going to add salt to the dish and then I'm going to want to cover it and let it steam for like two or three minutes. This can dry out very quickly and I mixed in my rice when it was done and there you are. I served mine with shrimp. It was delicious. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed those recipes. Don't forget to check out the description for more recipes and a link to Just Roots Kitchen Talk Open Hours. This is a Zoom link that you can hop right into every Friday from 12 to 1.30. You can ask questions about the kitchen, share your recipes and ideas, come meet other folks who are passionate about cooking or learning, and have any kitchen mysteries demystified. The link will be right here, right below this video. Thanks so much. Take care.